If your scooter has the pair system, you'll see that on your valve cover, you've got a tube running across it like here, a valve on the bottom. You've got a hose running out here, goes up to a canister. You've got another hose coming out to the canister that goes to a filter, and then it should go to open air. And then you've also got a hose going from the canister to intake vacuum. To start off, you'll need to locate this canister on your frame. You should see that it's got two large hoses, and then on the other side of it, it's got one small vacuum hose. What you want to do is trace that vacuum hose and you'll find that it goes to your intake most likely. Go ahead and pull that hose off of the intake. So you'll need to install a vacuum cap like this one. This is an eighth inch. It should just slide over the port. Then you can use either a wire tie or a hose clamp to make sure that stays in place. Move up to the valve cover area and you'll see this large hose here. It's got a clamp on the end of it. Take a pair of pliers, squeeze that clamp and then pull it back out of the way. Once that's out of the way, you should be able to maneuver the hose off. Next you'll want to find any wire ties or anything securing these hoses from the canister to the frame or to the scooter anywhere. Go ahead and cut those off. Then the canister should just slide back off its mount on the frame and you can untangle that from any wires that you didn't get before. Now you'll want to go back and anything that you had to cut free, you'll want to re-secure that to your scooter with zip ties or whatever you prefer. Here's a look at what you should have just removed. You should have the canister, it should have a vacuum hose attached to it, the hose that was going to your valve cover, as well as the hose that was open to air with this little filter on it. Now you've got a couple of things left to deal with on the valve cover and on the head. So to begin with, I'm going to pull this clamp off and pull the hose off of the valve cover here. Once that's off, I'm going to remove the four bolts around the valve cover. Then I'm going to remove these two bolts here holding this flange and the tube to the head. Once all six of those bolts are out, you should be able to just pop the valve cover off. You should have a gasket here. You should see mine stuck to the cylinder head. Sometimes they may come off. Whatever you do, don't lose it because you'll probably be able to reuse that later. You will want to remove all the oil residue from the valve cover seating area and from this gasket. I want to remove as much of the pair system as I can from this valve cover just to clean it up and get it out of the way for when I'm doing future repairs. The easiest way would be to replace this with a non-emission style valve cover, then all you'd have to do is bolt it back on and then the next steps I'll show you. What I'm going to do is just remove the tube and whatever components I can get rid of easily. So to begin with, remove the three bolts you can see here, they're all 8mm hex head. With all those out you should see that the bottom pops off and this tube will come off of the head. There's a reed valve assembly here. You should be able to just pop that out. Then on the top there's a gasket. You can just pry that off. Clean all the gasket material off here. Get it good and clean. You'll also want to clean the bottom of your valve cover and make sure that your valve cover seal is in good condition. Back over to the engine you can see there's still a hole in the head that needs to be plugged up. You can get a block off plate from I believe it's NCY and just bolt that on or you can make your own. It really just needs to be a piece of metal with the right bolt holes to match up to this. Bolt it on in place with a gasket and seal it off. I'm going to make a block off plate out of the old components. So you can see I've got this in a vise. This is the end that did bolt up to the head. I'm going to go ahead and saw it off. After I sawed it off, I flattened it out with a grinder and removed all the chrome plating. Then I ground the welds flat on both sides and once it cools I'll apply some paint. Now that my block off plate's finished I can use the two original bolts and bolt it right on over this hole and again make sure you've got the gasket here or some kind of sealant. Now I reinstall the valve cover and the valve cover bolts. Then you can slide the ventilation hose back on and clamp it in place. And that should be about it.